ready here for another day. We spent the last three days in Tulum because there was the hurricane Z, Z that was above our head. And it was a lot of rain, a lot of wind. We didn't have internet for three days, but nothing major really, no big distraction, uh, disruption. So we are happy to be on the road again. And today destination is Playa del Carmen. I lost one of these, or we lost one of these good bottles oh, of water. Don't put me in your losing thing. But we were able to get the super high tech plastic bottle. Something we found here in Quintana Roo, in Tulum, compared to Yucatan, is that there are not many strict with the rules for wearing masks and all that. More than that, people are in the street walking in, in Merida, absolutely no. The restaurants are open, uh, bars are open, everything. Everything is like, like if there is no pandemia, and it's super weird because we came from Yucatan, that the regulations were really, really strict, even before bringing spaghetti to a uh, camping site, they had to disinfect everything, disinfect <laughs> us. And here, nothing, like nothing. nothing is happening. We are cycling direction to Loom Beach, and there is a beautiful bike lane. These are the Tulum beaches, they are amazing. We have no sargasso today. Going from Tulum to Playa del Carmen is not that pleasant because we have to go through this highway. Uh, sometimes it's got a very narrow shoulder. We made a stop here for some drinks and food. So we decided to stop for a cenote to refresh and to energize. And this is the beautiful road that leads to the cenote. Guys, we made it to Playa del Carmen after 77 kilometers. We're having a pizza because the Italian girl definitely wanted to have a pizza and a sangria. The highway was actually not too bad. It's a little bit boring because it's flat and you have to be uh, really careful with all the cars passing by. A lot of traffic. Not almost, but close to the shoulder where you're riding. But there are plenty of choices to dive into a cenote and relax and chill and cool down and uh, you know relax the muscles and get ready for and start again. To start again. Yeah, we stop in one cenote, we stop in the the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Cenote, very nice, very very nice. And it's, it's, a, it's a must, it's, it's like around kilometer 35, 40, you want to stop for a cenote, especially if you do like we did, we left really late and it was it was too hot. And around 12, 1 p.m. we couldn't anymore. It really it was really hot. Fifth day in Playa del Carmen. We got stuck here because it hasn't stopped raining for the last five days. But we were super lucky because we have a friend here and she's hosting us. And maybe we're gonna see her later. We'll see if she's gonna start to be in our videos. And what can we say? We are living like local and we have loved it because we are seeing new new cafe. We Pablo is going food camp. And and has been very nice. We love Playa. We are really loving it. I think this is one of the best places we've seen in the world to live in. You can find really fancy stuff. You can find the local town stuff, amazing food. Uh, the beach is wonderful. And uh, it's becoming very, very trendy, very touristic. But it still has its charm like a little town. So it's, it's really a wonderful place to live. Yeah, so go Playa, woo! Yeah. <laughs>